Hey, and welcome back to another Revit video. In this video, we're going to look at a new Dynamo script, which I really, really am a fan of because it's very simple. And not only is it very simple, but it gets rid of something I absolutely hate, and that is imported CAD files. Imported, specifically imported. If you go to the Insert tab, you can see there is Link CAD, which we're fine with, but then there's the dreaded, bloodied Import CAD, which we cannot have in the project. There are times and places, but we're trying to get rid of in this video. So before we get into it, if at any point in the video you happen to learn something, which I hope you do, that's why you're here, please, please demolish that like button. It helps me out quite a lot. So, okay, we are, here we are. I've got this giant, massive CAD file. It's a like an old site plan. If I come over here, I can see it there. I've got another separate floor plan. I put a bunch of junk in this file, and I did that specifically because we want to get rid of it. Look, just random cabinets, like just... These things are here. They might be here. You might need them. You might have needed them. You might not know they're there. Most of the time, for imported CADs, there's, they're probably on one view. They might be on <coughs> views across the project, but likely just in one view. And with that said, you don't know they're there. And they actually have a huge impact on the performance of your model in just you know normal working things. And it's just not the type of thing you want to have to deal with, nor do you want to have to look for it. So let's say you know it's there, and how do we know it's there? Well, I can go to my visibility graphics, go to my imported categories, and I can see, well, yeah, there it is. This is in this view. I happen to know that. Now, if I come to this particular level, which I've got a couple of these here, I can see, all right, I'm going to go to my imported categories. In this place, I happen to have a couple here. This is all fine, but like I said, you're not going to necessarily see every single CAD file that's imported in every view, that's just not the way it works. Because if I go to import CAD, I can see I do have this lovely checkbox that is current view only. Now, the problem with that is that it's not checked by default, or I've seen more often than not that linked CAD is. You know, it's hit or miss whether that ends up being in one view or not. So regardless, I don't, I don't want to have to fish through every single view of my project. I will lose my mind. You will lose your mind. You will waste your time. It's not worth doing. That's where Dynamo comes in pl to play. It's absolutely perfect for a case like this. And just so you know, I have, I think, four imported CAD models that I don't want in my project. All these drawings, I don't want them there. They're imported, they're in separate views, they're in multiple views in some cases, and I don't want them there. So how do we get rid of them? Well, it's a lovely Dynamo script that will find them, okay? Basically, it's going to show you the imported CAD files in your project. And then you get to decide if you want to keep them or not, because we can delete them with this script, which is fantastic. Now, I love doing that in particular because I don't like CAD files whatsoever. If you know me at all, you know I don't like CAD files. So any opportunity I get to delete CAD files is the happiest time of my day. So I hope this will be the happiest time of your day as well. So let's go to the Dynamo Player. With the Dynamo Player open, I can see there is find and delete CAD files. So first we want to find them and then decide if we want to delete them. So I'll press play here. And again, I built things into the script to where it won't immediately just run and everything woo-woo. There is this lovely ready to proceed. And then that will trigger everything else in the script to actually work. Okay, I will do that. And I might change this up in the future and basically build this into a different interface, which uh, the data shapes packages will allow us to do which i think i will probably head down that route but as of right now this is fine it works this way okay so pressing play i get this fantastic pop-up and of course this is everything that i want to see everything that i want so i can see not only how many i have i can count them and see you know there's four um, all of these cad files they're all imported that's the thing to know they are imported these are not linked so with that said i can say okay well you know do i want these or do i not want these well I definitely don't want this site plan, and I definitely don't want those cabinets. So let's go ahead and press delete, the fun button. So I delete them. And do they go away? Yes, they do. And not only that, I can get the report here that says the number of deleted CAD files is 2. And then I get the deleted CAD files, the actual name of the deleted CAD files. That's really important. What did I just get rid of? Um, I just saw that because I was able to see I chose which ones in particular, but I can see them here. So I love this a lot I'm, just because they're gone and just notice that they are gone. You know, uh, a lot of times I can undo scripts and I can right there. So, you know, that's the only way to bring them back is what I'm saying. Uh, otherwise they'd actually be gone. So let's go ahead and look at this Dynamo script. It's pretty simple. And, you know, not to say that you need to know how to do it, but uh, obviously if you want to, 
I try and organize things again. I'll say this in most of the videos. I organize things in a way that is going to make the most sense to you and understand. So we can see that we want to get the instances of the CAD files in the project. And then simply select the CAD files. And there's my, my lovely data, sh data shapes node there. That's going to allow me to see them in a nice interface. And then I take that selection and I, you know, I run them through the user and say, hey, do you want to delete them? And then I get my two reporting items. It's very simple. And I w this is something I'm going to use quite a lot in most projects, if nothing else, to see how many CAD files are currently imported. And then, <laughs> you know, delete them if you need to. If you're, if you're the model manager, definitely, you're going to like this a lot. So you'll be able to find this in the description below. Of course, you always will be able to find them there. Uh, with that said, that will do it for this video. I hope you had a wonderful day. If Let me know what you think of this script and all of the others that I've made so far. I think this is quite helpful, but um, obviously, download it. It's free down in the description. You'll find it linked down there. So I will see you in the next video. If you happen to learn something, which I hope you did, please, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It's a simple script, but really useful nonetheless. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.